All right, section 15, humanity's whereabouts. Well now, it would appear our suspicions about that strange Spiritron signal we detected were warranted. We take it you servant creatures are capable of moving about in your spirit forms then? And you send your bodyguards away anyway? Has the great emperor gone senile in old age? Our scans did not detect any explosives. The closest thing to a weapon you appear to bear is that dagger. Tell us. How exactly do you plan to damage our holy vessel with that? I figured as long as I got close enough, the rest would work itself out. I wouldn't be an assassin if I didn't have at least that much resolve. Assassin? Ah yes, we vaguely, with two A's for some reason, recall seeing you somewhere before. Ah, of course. This must be one of those alternate histories. How very strange. Wait. You're saying you forgot what I looked like up until now? <laughs> we have been growing this govern- See, growing or governing? Governing this world for 2,263 years. Just how many attempts do you think were made on our life? Even we cannot count all the times we have been threatened for the secret of our immortality alone. Did you truly think that you were our sworn enemy? That you were somehow special among all the other would-be assassins? Well, we will say that when you came along, we were still looking for immortality in all the wrong places. Thinking back on it now, I believe you may have even done us a favor by inadvertently putting us on the right track. We should consider rewarding you for that. Oh yeah? So what, are you gonna give me a medal or something? Now that you and your companions have made it all the way to Zhang Yang, we will honor you with a personal commendation of our strange history. Wait, you're going to lecture me? Now? Proper human history. What a pretentious name. You wear your arrogance in believing that yours is the only true course of events on your sleeve. In spite of this arrogance, you behave as if your actions are dictated by morality. Thus, we must convince you beyond all doubt which of our worlds is truly proper, as you would call it. Morality? Oh, so now you're going to tell me that this is the good, just, more, just, moral world. Where you hold all power, where you don't let even the thinnest, tiniest seed of knowledge take root. Uh, take root. And where you casually slaughter your citizens the instant they inconvenience you, you call that a good moral world? Absolutely. What more glorious purpose could there be for the human race? You don't think of anyone anywhere as human, except yourself. You are quite correct. By contract, by Concentrating this land's bounty in a single point, we have become the ultimate human! Has any one individual ever ascended to such heights in your so-called proper human history? Behold our great wall encircling the sky! Behold the great harvest produced by the land! Who else could ever boast such greatness? Humans and groups cannot accomplish anything! They are shackled by discord, by conflict, by contradictions. So there will be no humans, no groups. A Zenrin, a true human, shall have total reign over heaven and earth and unite the species. A Zenrin, don't make me laugh. You call this bloated mechanical monstrosity of a body human? You believe the only human body is one of flesh and blood? That one status as a person is contingent on whether they have two eyes, four limbs, and ten fingers? Utter drivel. The true measure of a human is... responsibility. 
It lies in bearing responsibility for this world, its skies, lands, and oceans, and the lives of all who dwell within. Can those of you from proper human history choose which species will go extinct? Can you decide the amount of coal that will pollute your atmosphere? Can you prevent the polar ice caps from melting? Were you ever once successful at controlling your endless desires? We can do all of that precisely because we are the sole arbiter of this world. Thus we are human, for we bear all responsibility of this world on our shoulders alone. And now you're saying this regime you've set up here has made this world complete? You really believe that? We do. Then you're a bigger fool than I thought. Being complete is just another way of saying done. This precious world of yours has no way forward. You're stuck with nowhere to go. Thanks to becoming a servant, I learned all sorts of things I could never have known in my own time. The future of humanity is all about possibility. I and those who know me as a heroic spirit have walked many distant worlds. You said to look at your great wall in the sky, I did. All I see is a monument to your so-called eternal empire's limitations. You said you built that wall in order to defend against threats from the stars? Talk about preposterous. True, they'd have no way of building something like that in proper human history's 21st century. But if they had the same resources at their disposal, you can bet they'd use them to explore beyond our world, not shut themselves away. Your argument reeks of sour grapes. I'll admit we're off to a slower start. Your empire might have well succeeded at hurrying its evolution along quicker than proper human history. But I'll also bet your world's never produced anything quite like this before. What is this toy? If you think it's a toy, go ahead and scan it. You love analyzing stuff, right? What could be so impressive about a simple rectangle? <laughs> Question marks? What the? It's an entire computer and it fits in the palm of your hand. If you shrank down that absurdly large body of yours into components small enough to fit into this casing, could you even get close to this thing's performance? <sighs> but so what? We commend your efforts in packing so much functionality into such a small device. But its processing power is still barely one millionth of our own. Did I mention there are four billion just like it in proper human history? What? That's a personal device. Almost every human in proper human history has one. Th that's absurd! It is the very height of foolishness! You hand out processing power similar to your authority to the general public? Why do something so outrageous? Without anyone mitigating their desires, it is only a matter of time until they consume every resource on the planet. Is that all you think computers are good for? You're using yours all wrong. These things aren't generally used just as computers. Originally, they were just communication devices that were gradually redesigned with computing capability. Communication? You heard me. People share their opinions, pool their thoughts, and work together to achieve a common goal. This is just one more tool to make that happen. People have always wanted better ways to communicate. They've never stopped looking for ways to reach mutual understanding and prosperity. That's how the people, no, the humans of proper human history, live their lives. Then, you are saying every one of the people in your world is a full human onto themselves? You're right about one thing. There's no end of quarrels and disagreements. I'm sure we're a long way off from uniting every everyone under shared principles and ideals. Maybe we never will. Maybe humans will drive themselves to extinction or suck the planet dry. Even so, we aren't done yet. And it's because we're still incomplete 
that we are always striving to go further than ever before. In our world, people are always moving forward towards something better. They're not just stuck in one dead-end world that thinks it's a utopia. What you claim to strive for is no more than a pipe dream. You have no assurance you will ever truly attain what you see. Yeah, that's right. It's a dream. It could easily fade away if we're not careful. That's why we all hope for the same thing. That humanity can reach new heights no one has ever seen. People who hold that dream become heroic spirits and answer the summons of those who share that dream. That is what servants, the executors of the counterforce, really are. We're a sort of being that you'd never think to see in your eternal regime. We see. So this better world of yours rests upon nothing more than a roll of the dice, as it were. Reckless. Far too reckless. You balance the fate of the world on a tightrope. One misstep could destroy all. We could never permit this. Yeah, I bet you wouldn't. That's why we find ourselves at an impasse. One of us has to die so the other can carry on guiding the Earth. <laughs> Is that so? Tell us then, how do you propose to kill us with that plain, ordinary dagger? Every one of Ipeng's palace defense defensive armaments is already trained on your person. You will not get one step out the door before you are simply disintegrated. You still don't get it, do you? Proper human history is light years ahead of you in terms of communications and data storage and access. And in our world, with all its conflicts, any technology can be used as a weapon. Not that I'm proud of that. For example, did you know it's possible to poison a computer just by communicating with it? Did she literally shove a virus in it? What? You... The toy! <laughs> yes, you obviously wanted to have a lofty discussion about worldviews and philosophy, but I'm really just here to kill you. Even if I had to goad you into scanning this phone so you'd end up downloading the virus in it. Remember, I... No... Name Jing K. That's right. It's been a long 2,200 years, but I'm finally going to finish this. Well done. Well done indeed. Oh, what? We commend you, Jin K. This time we will be sure to remember your name. You are the only one to make us fear for our life not once, but twice. Man, I can't believe this. Who would have thought you would have failed again? I promised Vane I'd make it back safe and everything. I knew I never should have pushed my luck quite so far. Maybe it's just my destiny to always choke right at the very end. You are wrong there, Jin Kei. Your heroic spirit's true worth lies in dying with a smile, even as you fail at what you set out to accomplish. <laughs>